YouTube, what is going on? My name is Kevin, aka The Tech Ninja. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Nexus 7 just as much as I am. I've been getting a pretty good workout using this bad boy. So let's begin. I'm gonna talk about my favorite applications on here and applications that if you don't have installed, you better get them installed right now. So we're gonna start off with the very first application here. And by the way, all these apps are non-rooted. These are applications that anyone can download, okay? First application is called Dash Clock. I made a tutorial on how to use Dash Clock already, and I'm gonna link you to that as well. You can just go ahead and click somewhere around here. Let's give it a click right here, and you can get to my Dash Clock tutorial. But Dash Clock is basically a lock screen that allows you to add different little widgets and, and whatnots to the screen. So I can see uh, the weather where I'm currently at. I can see Twitter. I can see all those things directly at my lock screen. And I can get to it quickly just by pressing on the actual thing. So right now it says I have 29 new tweets. Click that, unlock, and it takes me right to my Twitter with my new tweets. So it's actually that simple to use and it's easily configurable. Like I said, there is a link to this video as well. The second thing we're gonna go over is Mighty Text. Mighty Text is an application that works in conjunction with your phone and computer. When I get a text message on my phone, it comes through on here and I can reply back on my tablet directly. So these are just text messages. I can click on each one and I can write the person back with no problems at all and it works for MMS as well. And it's also really nice because if I get text message on my computer, I can use my keyboard and type right back to it. So it's a really nice application. The third application I'm going over is Plex. Plex is a media application that sits on your main computer, whether it's a desktop or laptop, it has to be on and it streams media directly from that. As you can see here, I have movies, I have TV shows, I have a little bit of everything right here. So all you have to do is click on your movie or TV show. Sorry about that. Click on the movie or the TV show and go ahead and press play and pretty much it starts going. And you can adjust uh, the resolution depending on where you're at. You know, if you're local, you can pump, bump it up to 1080p, take advantage of this screen. Or if you're, you know, away from the computer and you're actually just, you know, on the internet somewhere at Starbucks, you can knock down the resolution and get a pretty fast video. So this is my go-to media player. I love this program, it's probably the best one out there. The program costs $5, but um, the uses for it is priceless. And the last one is Floating YouTube. This application basically makes your YouTube program float. It's really simple to use. So uh, let's go into YouTube right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to a video, click it, and then do a share. And then once we share it out, we can actually share it with Floating YouTube. AKA the Tech Ninja. All right, so it does this. So you can actually open up the internet browser and actually have this YouTube player sitting here. And we can adjust the size of it. We can make it bigger, make it smaller. I mean, it's a really nice application and it really helps the true multitasking, especially if you're in Hangouts typing away while watching a YouTube video. So I like this. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to show you guys one more application because I already showed it a little bit. It's called T9 App Dialer. It actually allows you to dial in applications to launch it. Let's say you want to launch Hangouts. Just type in H-A-N-G and Hangouts pops right up there. So this application enables you to get to your applications quickly without having, go, without having to go to your app drawer. And I'm all about quickness when it comes to my devices. So folks, that is it. That was a very quick rundown. All the links are in the description below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, my name is Kevin, aka The Tech Ninja. Peace.